and like it smelled the aromas of shit up my nostrils were just ridiculous otherworldly some of people lose here back in another YouTube video today we are doing what are we doing today what are we doing today oh yeah we're celebrating my 350th subscriber shout out to you it's been a long YouTube journey so far but we're just getting started I'm really proud of how far I've come in such a short period of time and there's only room for more improvement thank you guys for all your support and Thanks for all your questions as well. I'm sure I got some crazy questions. I'm really looking forward to reading them. So now that we've looked at the past of the channel, let's look to the future. I've got a lot of things planned up, a lot of collaborations in the works. So make sure you're staying tuned for all of that. I'm really excited for all the stuff that's got to come. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so you stay tuned. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you know every time I post. And of course, we're gonna smash that like button. I'm trying to get this video to 20 likes, I'm trying to get me to 1,000 subscribers. Please. Woo! Let's do it. I was meant to have work today, but the store flooded and my shift got cancelled, so we're here filming a YouTube video instead. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. <sighs> Sorry, I had to I felt a bit parched. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram and we're just gonna be answering these QA style questions. If the questions aren't up to scratch, honestly. That's on you guys. I'm doing my part. I'm answering the questions. If you want crazier, if you want wilder, if you want the most ridiculous questions answered, I will answer your questions, but make sure you get involved. I'm always doing stuff like this, so make sure you're asking me stuff. I have a lot of, I have, I have a lot of stuff to say, man, and I'm sure you guys have a lot of stuff to ask. All right. Question one. What did you want to be when you were younger? I was all over the shop at one point. Initially, first, First off the bat, I'm gonna say probably astronaut. The seems sick, and I will probably stick with that right now. If someone asked me, like, what would be the sickest job, I'd probably say astronaut. YouTuber is a close second, but honestly, like, astronaut is just, like, so sick. I also would have loved to be a fighter pilot, and that was actually a big dream of mine until I realized how shit war is, and, like, now I'm anti-war, so, like, obviously, that dream went out the window, but, like, the concept still, uh, like, appeals to me. Even, like, with my engineering, I would have loved to, like, work in, in like, all this defense stuff in principle it all seems so sick but like in practice it's just like isn't good for the world so it's not something I want to be contributing you know what I mean war not big war violence in general is just not me bro I'm just so calm with it it takes a lot to get me like riled up so like if you're getting me to go to war for something it's better be fucking good why do I think pineapple belongs on pizza so first of all how'd you know that obviously like I'm a big advocate of pineapple on pizza one of my actual favorite pizza orders is this is so rogue it's basically hawaiian but with beef so basically it's just like beef and pineapple and that's all it needs i could even chuck in some olives but for me that's my perfect pizza in general i would that's my favorite pizza yum obviously pepperoni i love so hard to find pepperoni in australia that i can actually eat because it's all pork i don't eat pork so None of that pork in the house, you know. I need to start going to like Muslim butchers to get like pepperoni, I make my own pizza. Cause I, I'm sure I can make a fire pizza, but my oven is also broken. So that needs to get fixed soon as well. Once my oven is fixed though, we'll do a pizza cook along video together. Great, let's do it. Next question, can you do a cooking video for us? There we go, just answered it. Next cooking video, once my oven's fixed, 100%. I do have a lot of cooking videos planned. I'm, doing, I'm changing my oven and stovetop so we can get the full upgrade. Definitely some cooking videos coming soon on the channel, so stay tuned. And as I said before, smash that subscribe button. Mm. Least favorite thing about posting videos. Honestly, okay, here's the thing. If I was doing YouTube full time, had nothing else, didn't rely on anything for money, anything else, didn't have to go to uni, none of that. The hardest part about YouTube would be finding people to work with. I, I love working with other people. I love working with other creators as well. In lockdown, when I started this channel, I was doing most of my videos by myself. And then as we came out of lockdown, I started doing videos with my friends. But at the end of the day, I also want to be doing videos with more creators. So if you are a creator and you're watching this, let me know. All my socials are right here on the screen. Hit me up, please. I would love to work with anyone and everyone. Let's freaking run it, man. 2023, let's freaking run it. If all the content's there to be filmed and all the rest of it, my least favorite thing would have to be editing. So another thing, if you're an editor, Editor, link me. All my socials, bro, are right here. Link me. I know there's people out there who are better at editing than me, and I want to see your talents front and center, please. And I want everyone else to see it. I want everyone else to see how good you are editing, so please help me out. Ah, yum. Is there anything better than ice cold water? 
Do you prefer e girls or i ladies? Um, I'm only familiar with one of those things, unfortunately. Let's go. What's what's i lady? Oh, i ladies. It's used as a joke. Hey Jim, you heard about e girls, but have you heard about i ladies? No. What's an i lady? Oh, I lay these balls in your mail. I see! E-girls are great, they're great. The amount of e-girls on Twitch right now is just mental. Like, there's a huge market for e-girls. So, like, I get that there's a, like, they have blown up. I don't know, man. But I ladies is a good one, you know. I'm actually gonna use that. I lay these balls in your mouth. That is solid. Favorite TV show of all time? There's a few, you know. I love good TV. Um, favorite TV show of all time? What's my favorite TV show of all time? What can I watch forever? And what do I know back to front? How I Met Your Mother, I've seen twice or three times maximum. Friends, I've seen like twice. Gossip Girl, I've seen like twice, three times. So I'd say those are my top three of all time. Those are my best ones. Those are the ones I've seen the most and like I'm planning on rewatching them again. I do really want to watch Pretty Little Lies though. I've heard freaking amazing things about Pretty Little Lies, especially when it was like coming out like when I was in school. Everyone's obsessed with it. And even now, I've been meaning to watch it. Maybe that's what I'll do after this video. I'm just gonna chuck on some Pretty Little Lies. Let's do it. If you have any interesting answers to any of these questions, just let me know in the comments below, please. I always want to hear what you guys have to say. It's not all about me. This channel is me and you guys having fun together. It's a two-way thing, so let's do it together. What is it like living on your own in your 20s? Okay, let's do a pros and cons list. I love pros and cons list. Pros, I don't have to clean up once something is dirty. I can like leave something overnight or something if I like I'm really tired or like can't be bothered. Like there's no pressure on me to do stuff, to do chores. But that's also a con because like I won't do chores unless I know someone wants them done. I would have never done it by myself, like proactively. If I know I'm having guests over or something, I'll proactively clean. Otherwise I'm like, I can live with this mess. I'm okay with it, which is a bad mentality. Like, I should like my house to be clean. Another con about living alone in your twenties is I will cook a great meal, sit down, eat it, and then I have to wash the dishes too. I don't own a dishwasher or anything. So like I cook a meal and I'm washing the dishes. Just doesn't seem fair to me, but who else is here to do it? You know what I mean? But in general, I love being alone. I'm a homebody. Like I can spend all day at home for a week and like I'd be fine. Wow, I'm not coming up with a lot of pros for this pros and cons list. There's just a lot of chores. It's so hard to maintain a household. Like, like there's a base level of maintenance that needs to be done regardless of how big and how many people live in the house. I can do whatever I want. Honestly, pro, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Like, I'm the only one living here. Nothing I do will have any effect on anyone else. I can do whatever I want and not hear a bar from anyone and no one can say anything. Like, that's honestly the biggest pro and that is the main reason I live alone. Because I love, just like do my own thing. Like, I love to be, I just love to be alone. I love to be alone, sue me. If you could only listen to five songs for the rest of your life, what songs would they be? This is a really hard one because anyone that knows me knows my like songs on Spotify, first of all, is all over the shop and two, has like a bajillion different genres. And I love music, so like that makes it even harder. We're doing five songs for the rest of my life. It's probably gonna be one or two songs of my favorite genre each. UK hip hop and R&B, two songs. American hip hop, R&B, two songs. And then the last one will just freaking freestyle. We'll see how we go. One of them's gotta be Dave, because I love Dave. Tiago Silva, I think that was a question. Tiago Silva, one. Two, here's where it gets techy. So I've been listening to a lot of SL and Knox recently, but like, they haven't always been my favorite, so I don't, and I don't know if they're gonna continue to always be my favorite. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna make the second one Dave as well. In the Fire by Dave is mental. One of the best songs ever. Versus crazy beat, crazy. That performance at the BET Awards, crazy. Dave just like literally destroyed that whole album. It's actually ridiculous how good that whole album was. That's two, three, America, let's say, probably J. Cole. Within J. Cole, we're saying, maybe In The Morning featuring Drake, great. And on that, we segue on to the next person, which will be Drake, great. So now we have Dave, AJ Tracy, Tiago Silva. Then we have Dave, In The Fire, featuring everyone under the sun. And then we have J. Cole and Drake on In The Morning. And then we have Drake, favorite ever Drake song. Do you know how long that is? Drake, do you know how many bangers Drake has? That's a mental question. Yeah, fuck it, I'm going for Wait For You because it is honestly a ridiculous song. Wait For You, Thames, Drake and Future, crazy. I know it's like a recent one, so it's a bit like iffy to be putting it on like my top five ever, but that song is mental. And last but not least, I'm gonna say 
Georgia Smith and Sondo, Nobody But You, only because that song holds a very special place in my heart. So that is definitely on my top five list. Metal straws, man, they taste like, like, I don't know if it's just this straw specifically, but like, why is it tasting like metal, bro? It's like those like flavored straws you used to get. They would have like chocolate powder in them and then you drink milk from them and you drink chocolate milk. This is like the same thing, but like you drink metal from it and it gives you metal flavored water. Sick. Anyways, next question. What is the wildest night out you have ever had? Now you're taking me back. Far out. Um, honestly, the one comes to mind when I think about it. First one. I was in Marbella in the south of Spain. Huge night out. All the rest of it. The night out actually wasn't that large. It was a big night. Don't get me wrong. We partied hard. But what came afterwards? What came afterwards? I tell you now, I will never, ever forget. We were walking back to our accommodation through like the main square of Puerto Banus or whatever it's called. I used to always like walk around with my phone, just like play with it like this. No stresses, never dropped it, all good. We're walking, we're walking, we're like, oh, fucking drunk as shit. All of a sudden my phone slips out of my hand and drops. And below me, there was a sewage grill. Like, you know, the one with the holes in it in the ground that they use like for the sewage and shit. Anyways, fell out of my hand, was landing straight downwards like this. This is, let's say this is the gap of the sewage, literally so freaking thin. And my phone fell straight through and I was like, Surely fucking not. That did not just happen to me. Bruh, the way everyone around me lost their freaking minds, I can't even start to tell you. They lifted up the grill and they were just like spraying with the flashlight trying to see where my phone was. I can't even tell you how disgusting it was. It was literal like shit and piss and cigarette butts and more shit and vomit and piss and even more vomit and even more piss all together in this compact, little hole in the ground and it was fucking feral 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 it was horrible so i go to the kebab shop literally right next to us i'm like what am i gonna do what am i gonna do meanwhile my friends are like leaning over like spitting into the thing to make it worse add extra flavor to my phone i go get a plastic bag from this kebab shop put my hand in the bag and then reach in and grab it. And I'm just digging around all this sewage water and like it smelled the aromas of shit up my nostrils were just ridiculous, otherworldly. So I was digging around, grabbed my phone, pulled it out, everyone lost it. They all lost their mind. They're like, Wah! Mind you, this wasn't back in the day with waterproof phones. This was like, it's not even water resistant, not even waterproof, nothing. And it fell in liquid. Mind you, it was probably mostly solid shit, so that makes sense. But still, fell straight through. I look at it and it's just freaking, it's just working. And I spray it, maybe one million sprays of co cologne and deodorant. And I woke up the next morning and it still stank of like, nah. I can literally still smell it in my nostrils. The, the stink of shit that was lingering on my phone for two weeks after that was mental. I tried Dettol, I tried wipes, I tried perfume, I tried everything. Fire out. I will never forget that night. It's horrible, 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 horrible. But it's a great memory and I love telling the story, so here we go. Which meme represents your life? Wow. There's a lot of memes out there, you know, as well. At this moment in time, I'm almost tempted to say, you know, the dog with the house on fire that says I'm fine? Like, hmm, I'm fine. Okay. That's kind of me right now. I've got a lot on my plate and things just keep racking up. Just then I went to go get some water and my freaking cabinet just fell off its hinges. So that's another thing. My house is literally falling apart. I've got to get new windows in, got to get aircon in, got to mount my TV, got to work, got to do YouTube, got to edit, got to see my friends, got to take care of my relationships. <sighs> I've got so much on my plate right now. Everything's falling apart around me, but I'm fine. Let me show you my cabinet. Like, bro, this literally just came off its hinges. Yeah, I'd probably say that one. More so because I can't think of any other memes right now. Honestly, that's really bad of me. What is the wildest thing you have done to get someone's attention? To get someone's attention? Started going gym. <laughs> yeah, no, I probably started going gym. Not just for her, but it was like a, a factor. And then I was like, nah, fuck that. That's probably it. God, gym. That's the thing with me. Like, I will never be like looking for someone's attention. If you're, if you're giving me attention, I will use it well. But like, I'm not going to go out there and like fight for your attention. Do you know what I mean? But if you give it to me, then I'm like more, I'm thinking more about like, how am I going to use your attention well versus like, how can I get your attention? You get me? So that's where I'm at in my life at the moment. Mm. Would you rather never slay again or slay so hard that slay loses all meaning? I, I slay. Okay. Let's, let's be brutally honest. I slay. 
getting that one out of the way. But to what extent? I think I'm like a medium slayer. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think when I slay, I slay hard, but not hard enough to like, be like, fuck. Like, he's always so slay that it's not even slay anymore. It's just like, ooh, slay again. Do you know what I mean? But if we're working on both extremes, would you rather never slay again or slay so hard that it loses all meaning? Far out. This is actually the deepest question on the in the whole video. Never slay again or slay so hard it loses all meaning. I'm gonna say slay so hard it loses all meaning because like at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck with anyone else. Like if I'm not slaying to anyone else, they're like, oh, it's, he's just slaying, you know what I mean? Like, like oh, it's just loose, he just always slays. It's, it's so normal. I don't care. When I slay, how about this one? How about this one for your head top? When I slay, I'm not slaying for anyone else. So the fact that I'm doing it for myself means that slay could never lose meaning for myself. It could only lose meaning to others. You know what I mean? Therefore, I would rather slay so hard that it loses all meaning to other people because I know that it will always mean so much to me because I love to slay. So that's why I could never not slay again. Do you know what I mean? Great. Good question though. That's my favorite one so far. Sweet. That's been a lot of fun. I've had so much fun answering your questions, guys. Looking forward to the next milestone we've reached, trying to get that 500 subscribers. If there's any other videos you guys want me to see, please let me know in the comments below as well. Let me know if you want to see more of me trying stuff around in Melbourne, if you want to see more vlogs, if you want to see more sit-down videos. I haven't done a sit-down video in a while, to be fair. It feels good to be back in my own home, just sitting down and just, just waffling with you guys. You know me, guys. Like, I freaking love a waffle. Before I let you guys go, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post. Sending peace, love, and positive. Always, I'm out.